Hello everyone. So I want to give you a bit of an update. About a week ago, I did a video and started these agar plates by applying, inoculating them with a with spore solution syringes. And I want to give you a bit of an update because I have had some really nice growth, especially on one strain in particular. So for those of you who didn't see the video, I'll try to put a link up above if I remember. But I got four different strains, four different strains of spore syringes to test out. I knew one in particular, the one I'm holding right here, is known for being one of the most aggressive strains of this particular type of mushroom. Because this mushroom in general is not as aggressive a grower as, say, an oyster mushroom, where you can take oyster mushroom spawn and you can throw it in some substrate, barely pasteurize it, and you don't have to worry too much about contaminants because that oyster mushroom is going to grow really fast. Well, this type of mushroom isn't as aggressive, so it's more prone to being taken over by contamination. That's why you usually have to be super-duper clean. But if I can find the strain that is the most aggressive grower, not only the fastest, but one that produces rhizomorphic growth um, versus the more fuzzy mycelium. So rhizomorphic is when, when mycelium produces those really thick ropey tentacles that kind of shoot out through a substrate and colonize it really fast. And that's also usually associated with, with uh, prolific fruiting as well, which is also would be a really nice trait to have. But again, I'm going to be, I, this one strain in particular looks like a strong candidate, and I'm going to be selecting the strongest samples from those plates and cloning them and moving them to their own plates, their brand new plates, looking for the best candidate to, to basically go forward with, something I can keep in the long term, keep cloning, keep, keep reusing. So it's, 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 I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be finally working with agar plates and really getting into it. I only have one obvious uh, plate that's had contaminants, so apparently my process is relatively clean, which is shocking since I'm, you know, not only new to this particular process in growing mushrooms, but, um, you know, I'm a bit chaotic, but I know how to be clean. I've been growing mushrooms for a decade now. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable with the process, but there's one, uh, you might've seen it as we were going through the, the, the dishes here. There's one plate that is, it has very clear contamination. Um, it's got, instead of the little fuzzy balls of mycelium, it has white, opaque blobs. <laughs> little little blobs, little droplets of milk. You'll actually see it in the, the plate coming up. So if you haven't seen it already, that's not mycelium. At least I'm pretty sure it isn't, or at least it doesn't look like the other plate of that particular strain. So in any case, this is what I'll be doing. If you're exciting about if you're excited about this new project, I really appreciate the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate the support as always. I really want to see this channel grow, and I know y'all love the mushroom stuff. So uh, let me know. Let me know how much you love it. In any case, thanks so much for watching, and as always, thank you for joining me on this journey.